I just got a bunch of stuff in. No, like, you know, a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got in a nice used Ricky. 12 string, a 660 12 in maple glow for you birds fans. That's pretty cool. Wait, let's set that there. We got in, this is neat and not terribly expensive, but honey, I shrunk my Les Paul. We just shaved that body in half. This is a 2000, I don't know, but it's a Les Paul light. You guys, remember this? They quit making them, but they're a Les Paul light. So it looks like a Les Paul, but you wear it all day long. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Someone else will get the phone. Yes, it does. Oh, that's fine. One time. There's more. Hang on, hang on. Down. This, this, you guys have been asking about. Do you ever get any vintage jazz basses? And yeah, I just got this in. This is a 1962 refinished, yeah, uh-huh, 1962 refinished jazz bass. And this was bought at Pete's Guitars way back in the early 80s. Uh, so a really cool piece of history. Original covers, original pickups, original pots, original pick guard, but refinished. So this is cool. I won't put it through this tiny amp because I don't want to blow it up. And then wait, there's more. This just came in too. This is a 1965. And you remember what I told you about 1965? There was three things in 1965. The headstock pitch. The important thing is the big neck. This has a huge neck and then nickel hardware. This is a 65 original finish, SG Junior. Wait, there's one more thing. Actually, there's a bunch more things. I got about 12 more things, but while I'm at it, here, you sit there. No, I can't do that, because it could break. This is something I'm gonna do a much better video on. This was a 1952 Les Paul. It has a or had a trapeze, right? And then somebody went and put on an original, not a reissue, an original bridge, non-wire nickel ABR1 that would be correct for 5657, an original tailpiece, right? Uh, and it has original pickups, original pots, but here's the cool thing. The neck on these usually were pretty shallow to meet that wraparound. Now this neck has been pitched up, so it works with this bridge combo. For those of you who know that we have a, an original 57, that's 79,000. This is like half of that. So this is really a great buy. There is no breaks. It has had a neck set done. You'll find most repair guys in and be like, no, please, no. But yes, it's already been done. Original pickups, and then you can see those tall knobs from a 52. Those knobs are really expensive these days. No, really expensive these days. And, wait for it, this used to be owned by our buddy Joey Mulland from Badfinger. Yeah! Okay, that's all we got time for right now, but man, we got some stuff in, and I'm going to let you go with that. All right? Thank you. Bye.